the masks of your teacher that I didn't bring. <laughs> And what did you call that project? I call it the Mask Series. Okay. Yeah. It's not a fancy title, but it is an ongoing, I, uh, ongoing um, effect. So with this, this new uh, stuff you're doing here, yes. um, this is all Photoshop you said? Well, I photographed everybody in costume on a white backdrop. Mm -hmm. But then, yes, I layered everything in it. So I also shot, like I said, the the sets were built in a 16 by 16 inch square box. This is paper. Yeah, I still wanted the element of handmade construction. This is actually a, a foreground that I cut out. This is paper. Lit, you know, cut out the box up above, lit it. So that's the set, the stage, which is interesting because obviously, um, you know, we're all influenced by what we do most of all. And I think at this time, I was working on a lot of things uh, uh, relating to sets and operas that um, my current employer worked on. So I was influenced by that. But I really wanted to set a stage for these people to be in. And I was actually thinking about creating a paper set, like renting out a building and I thought, you know, I'm going to make it easier on myself. Well, it would have been easier if I had actually created the set and just shot it. Because it is quite a bit of work. And then layering the, the uh, three different elements together. So is it more work than doing like the, the copy work you used to do? It's more, it's more involved. It's definitely more involved. Yeah. Although I really liked that first body of work because it I keep working on trying to create more space inside the photograph. Um, that's a real challenge for me. Any other questions? Yes? So what influences um, did David Hockney have on you since you've been working with him? Well this is one, um, you know, sets, opera sets. Um, perspective. His theory on reverse perspective is incredible. I would highly recommend studying that. I'm still wrapping my mind around it. Reverse, instead of you going <coughs> being a, a one point perspective, it's, it's looking, instead of you're looking down a road and there's one point perspective, it's going out and then it's everything. Uh, yeah, there's there's many books. He didn't write one specifically. I would be. We're gonna go out for coffee. After that. <laughs> <laughs> I would be interested in hearing some rock and roll stories. Okay. Well, um, the image of uh, the person on the poster outside mm -hmm. is a rock and roller. Very fantastic rock and roll. His name is Jake and um, I shoot a lot, my, the other 50% of my work is rock and roll photography and um, since and I... you still do that now? I haven't been in a band, well my band hasn't played for about a year. I'm a singer in a rock and roll band. I used to be in an all-girl band called Camel Toe and now, <laughs> I'm, in a, and now I'm in a, a band, kind of a pop punk band called The Checkers. Um, but rock and roll, it's performance. And like I was telling you with the photography early on, I really love the sense of performance when I'm shooting. And interacting with rock and rollers, there's definitely an interaction of performance in that. It's a give and take when you're working with a subject. Um, I, I don't really direct, I'm not like, okay, have your arm like this. I mean, I will tell people when they're doing something to stop, but like this person is really a, mo a modern dancer. And she just, I, I l allow people to be themselves. And when you do that, there is something special. I think there's something magical to that, that I could, ne I feel it's contrived when I'm like, okay, do that, you know, and they're like unnatural and they're uncomfortable. I mean, unless they're, you know, need to do this 
modeling stuff, but I've done that as well. And, and really high end models, you know, they turn like this. This is their big move, you know. The toe is moving, you know, quarter, which you want because if you've got a specific shot, you just want that slight movement. You don't want somebody to change the whole thing. So, but rock and roll, um, <laughs> it's uh, it's fun. I I I like having a good sense of humor. I like having fun, and I think you can't fake having fun. I think you, it comes through in your work. <coughs> um, Everything comes through in your work. Your personality, who you are, what your interests are, your aesthetics, your your desire, and um, what was I going to say? I was going to say your color palette. The, the color palette that you use, I think, is very uh, revealing. I I look at that a lot in people's work. Um, yeah. So I think it feeds into the the fine art side of my work. I'm doing a series right now called The Day in the Life of a Rock and Roller, where I follow uh, a specific rock and roller around for an entire day from literally getting out of bed, brushing their teeth, to being on stage. And um, going up next weekend to do Dr. Frank from the Mr. T experience, so that'll be fun. So that, how many how many have you done in this project so far? The day in the life of uh -huh. a rock and roller. I've done what what month is it? Because I s December, so I've done twelve so far. I saw on your blog uh -huh. your last one. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Manfred. Yes. Yes, the mighty Manfred from the Woggles. Awesome band. <laughs> if you don't know him. Um, yeah, mighty Manfred has a actually he's on Sirius little uh, Stevens Underground Garage. Do you know Sirius XM? Got a great radio station program every day from 12 to 3. <laughs> um, but yeah, this man is just rock and roll personified. And I had to do very little. I showed up to photograph him. I mean, that's not true. <laughs> but do you know what I mean? I, like I said, I allow people to really be themselves. And if I really see something, I'm like, okay, hold on. But, and if I don't want it to go away, but. Especially for that series, that's more documentary work that I'm doing. So, but it leads to other <coughs> things. People are looking at it. You know, I out of so far out of the twelve I've shot, I have four record covers out of it. People are like, I gotta use this. I'm like, right. so it's good. It's it's a give and take. And I like I'm really into giving right now. So <coughs> you catching me on a good day. <laughs> Is there any other questions? Well, thank you for having me. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.